The Premier League starts tomorrow and this will be 100% my confirmed draft. I will have a 3-5-2 formation. I will have a very, very interesting differential draft because I think that will be the way to go for me. I will go for some pens as well here and there. And also remember to join my Premier League tournament. It will be the last time private league where 500 euros in rewards will be given away to the top 10 managers. And there isn't too many participants actually, so there are a high chance of you actually getting some money yourself. And uh, yeah, remember to join the link in the description. And uh, yeah, let's start off in the goalkeeper position where we are going to have Dean Henderson, a little bit of a boring pick. Almost every single FPL expert and manager has him at the moment because like he's the standout 4.5 million option. And I've said it for a long time, I've had him in almost every single one of my drafts. So therefore he will be in this one as well. And moving on to the defense, we have Kwanza, Trent, Alexander, Arnold and Aina. And I think this tree in the back looks rock solid and specifically with the Liverpool boys and mainly because they have so many good fixtures so therefore I can't go without them and also Konsa 4.5 million and also Trent Alexander Arnold 7 million mainly of course Konsa can be rotated but I think Arnold will rely on him being the main man and he's also expected to get a lot of points that Ipswich fiction game week one is really really interesting also Liverpool has the best fixtures in my opinion especially when it comes to their first six or even seven fixtures and also besides him Trent Alexander Arnold 7 million he got an assist and was very, very influential when it comes to Liverpool's offensive play in, I think they won 4-0 or something in their last friendly. So that was very, very uh, intriguing to see. So therefore he will be in this draft. And of course Liverpool have so many good fixtures. So therefore I think tripling up on Liverpool players isn't a bad idea. And the last player will be Aina. And uh, mainly I think he's probably the best 4.5 million option besides Lissandro Martinez. So it's like between him or Lissandro Martinez. And this like this team will almost be my 100% my draft for the first game week. But the thing with Aina and Lissandro Martinez, that is like 50-50. I don't know yet. So therefore that may change. And please leave a comment. Would you change? to Lissandra Martinez because mainly the reason for me having Aina is because they have some incredible fixtures Bournemouth, Southampton, Wolves and also in game week 4 Liverpool is a tough fixture but after that they also have some really really solid fixtures and I also think Aina he's very offensive as well uh, nail at the left back position he could always uh, play in that left mid position as well and also he could uh, switch to a right back position so he's a very very um, yeah interesting player in general and I think for 4.5 million it's a very very good option and of course we are not 100% uh, uh, sure yet of which uh, goalkeeper will be starting in goal for Nottingham Forest therefore it's a very very safe way to go when it comes to a Nottingham Forest defensive asset because as I said they have some really really good fixtures and now let's move on to the midfield and uh, yeah this is probably the most exciting midfield I've seen in a long time we want captain Mohamed Salah we will captain another player and uh, yeah I also have some hidden gems here and there I want to go more in depth about in today's video because uh, I'm very happy and proud of myself that I have uh, finally found a team that I'm so happy about because there are some differentials here as well but first of all Mohamed Salah so for this preseason he have looked sharp but like the end product is a little bit missing in some of the occasions in my opinion and although he may smash it against Ipswich I don't think he will do as well as Gorn, because if such a way, yeah, it's a good fixture on paper, but I think it could be very, very tough for Liverpool to break the team down as easy as they have been doing so far this preseason. You never know, they may win 3 or 4 nil, but also we have some Liverpool players to back it up if Liverpool just smash Ipswich. Quons and Trent Alexander-Arnold will be a part of the fun. So let's say if I captain Salah as well, and let's say it's a 1-1 one -one draw, I have a lot of eggs in actually Liverpool performing, which could be a little bit risky. I'm also a Manchester United fan, so I need to be a little bit balanced there as well. Therefore, we have gone for Anthony Gordon besides him. I will be captaining him, uh, and I have said that he's a mess fan. If you don't have Anthony Go Gordon in your team, I don't know what you're doing. Of course, you don't need to have him in your team, but I think he's way too good to not have in your team. And I have, like, given me one good reason to not have him in your team. Like, he's the best 7.5 million midfielder option by a mile. And I think there aren't any 9 million options, 8.5 million options, and even 8 million options that can compare to what Anthony Gordon can bring to you in the first game weeks. Especially against Southampton at home. Like, 
what a fixture to start off with. I have only one Newcastle player, therefore I need to captain him. And now I'm also spoiling the forward positions, but you'll see it in a second why I haven't gone for a Newcastle forward asset. Uh, but very quickly, I think Anthony Gordon will also take a penalty in that game. If uh, Newcastle get a penalty, and if Gordon makes it himself, I think he will take it. Because Isaac have missed so many pen penalties last season and also so far this preseason, I think he have missed two penalties. I think Anthony Gordon may be the man to take them now. And I'm not 100% sure yet, but if Isaac is not 100%, I think Gorn will take them, which is very exciting. He has said himself that he is very good on penalties. Southampton at home, it's a fixture that Gorn will, I think he will just smash it there. And also, let's just, he will. He may take penalties. He is on set pieces and he is the most influential forward this game week. And especially when you are playing in Southampton at home, you'll have a lot to do. Therefore, Gorn will be the captain. Besides him, we have Ahmad Diallo. And I think he is such an underrated option. I have heard zero people talk about him as a FPL asset. And I promise you, I have heard no one. And I just thought about it recently. Why is no one talking about Ahmad Diallo? A fantastic preseason. Very good end to last season. Manchester United with some very interesting opening features. Only 5 million on the game. Why wouldn't you go for him? He will also start most likely against Fulham because Xerxes is not match fit yet. Therefore, Rashford will most likely play on top. Ganacho, left wing, Ahmad, right wing. That is how everyone thinks Manchester United will be lining up. Therefore, Ahmad Diallo. Of course, this strategy and this plan is determined by Ahmad Diallo impressing at the start of the season. So he nails down his starter spot. I think the future will be Ganacho and Amal Diallo, and I'm a Manchester United fan, and I don't think Rashford will have that good of a season this year. I think he will fell out completely, and I think he will be transferred away sooner rather than later. I may be completely wrong, but uh, what I have watched from last season, also so far this preseason, I have never been a big Rashford fan, and uh, yeah, of course it's easy to say that now, but when he had that insane season, I criticized him because of his... Um, like, he isn't the player that you want in your team, let's just put it that way. And yeah, in some moments he's probably one of the best players in the world, but he's good at like two, three or maybe four things. But he lacks so much when it comes to being a good overall footballer in my opinion. And yeah, he was an incredible goal scoring form, but he is so inconsistent. And therefore, Rashford may start the season off and just like destroy the competition when it comes to uh, actually uh, Amad Diallo and also Diallo actually challenging Rashford because he can have those seasons but it's impossible to guess and I'm actually predicting that he won't have that good of a season this year therefore I've gone for Amad Diallo because I think he will outcompete Marcus Rashford and this is a gut feeling I have and I hope this becomes true Although, my, like, I just hope that the match night perform, uh, performs good again this season. So, if I, if Ahmad starts, if Ganache starts, if Rashford starts, it doesn't matter too much unless they perform. But for my FPL team, I hope Ahmad will hit the ground running. And I think against Fulham, we could see him get 10 plus points. So, therefore, he will be in this team. Besides him, Bukayo Saka. And he is also actually a captain uh, option. We have seen on the odds that it's like 65% chance of Arsenal scoring more than three goals or something. It's just ridiculous. And also I think Saka will be a big part in that. If it's going to be a goal first against the Wolves, Saka will most likely be a part in that when it comes to set either getting it from set pieces, from penalties, and also from just being a very good player overall. And the last midfielder will be Kamada. He scored recently his first goal in Sellers Park. And I'm so excited uh, for him as an option, 5.5 million. I think he has gone so much under the radar. And I think Crystal Palace will have a really good season under Glasner. And of course, I could go for Eberich Esse. But uh, mainly if I would have the fence, of course, I would have gone for Eberich Esse. But I think Kamada will be right behind him. Get some uh, fewer goals, some fewer assists. But if I get a little bit lucky as well, for two less million, it won't be that big of a point gap between those two. So it will be worth it to have Daisha Kamada as an option in this team. And moving on to the forward positions, we have Dominic Solanke and also Erling Haaland. First of all, Dominic Solanke is a player that I really, really like. When he played at Bournemouth, one of my favorite Bournemouth players, that doesn't say too much. 
but still I think he's a really good player and it will be very interesting to see how he'll perform at uh, Spurs. I personally think that he could do really really well and of course we need to see and it's a little bit of a gamble, it's a brand new club and he hasn't had a preseason. So therefore putting him in straight away could be a gamble, but Leicester away is such a good fixture to start him off with and also Everton at home in that second fixture. And he is predicted to start and he is the only real number nine besides the Charlton. And I think he has an injury now. Uh, so therefore uh, I think Solanke will play close to 90 minutes. And uh, yeah, one player that I have uh, a lot of faith in for next season. And like it's him against uh, Alexander Isak at the moment. But for one million less, we can offend uh, to get Alexander Arnold into this team and also getting more key players. So therefore, I think it's worth it to spend out the budget to the rest of the positions because having Isak and also Holland, it's a little bit too expensive for my liking. And also with Isak missing some penalties, I'm not 100 percent sure. And his form coming into this season, I'm much, I'm would much rather have Solanke and also upgrade uh, from a six million defender to Trent Alexander Arnold as a seven million defender. So therefore, this will be my way to go. And the last player will be Adling Holland. And I love when we end off with Adling Holland because I don't need to say too much because every single viewer and every single FPL manager just knows that he's a good option. So I don't need to explain it. Uh, and let, let's just summarize it, back to back golden boots, 50 million, yeah it's expensive, he's got 3 goals against Chelsea, why wouldn't he do it again? Like, let's just end it off there. And uh, yeah, in the bench we have Fraser, uh, forward option, 4.5 million, I have no idea if he's going to start, uh, but uh, there is no good 4.5 million forwards by the looks of it. And this will be my team, and I'm so excited for the Premier League to start off. And uh, yeah, leave in the comments, what would you rate this team from 1 to 10? And I'll of course catch you in the next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.